Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Pillars of Eternity 2. This is Colonel RPG as usual. Quiet uh, time. And I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as I uh, forget which keys go where and what which keys do what. We are in the swamps, we're out in the middle of nowhere really. Uh, and uh, we are getting out of here pretty soon. But before we do, I just want to complete the this map. This was a nasty-ish fight. Oh, there's something over there. What is that? Is that... What is it? You must it... gather your party before venturing forth. Oh, it's a... It's, mm, okay, so it's just the exit. It's the exit. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. Let's get out. You must gather your party I'm trying before to. venturing forth. I can't get out. Ooh. Okay, well, let's get in. Uh, let's get out through here. Yeah, so I don't think it matters where we leave. We are not tired or anything. I was gonna say we're tired for some reason. Nope, we're not. That's not. That's not a thing. Uh, we are just. It's. It's fine. We're just in the water, swamp water. Anyway, we are making our way down to the southeast, which we have been trying to get to for a while now. And I can actually look at the map if uh, you want to see. Uh, it's the Forgotten Catacombs, and that's the astute over there. So we're going to Hurangi, no, actually, Tikawara, that's right. Hurangi, that's interesting, okay. Uh, and uh, we just arrived, and we have a ruined tower, which is probably going to be for... It looks really cool, that ruined tower. Uh, it's going to be just for uh, scavenging. You find a ruined tower rising up from the top of a low hillock. The wood and stone structure is stained by oily smoke residue and a smattering of masonry is spread out from the tower's base in a wide fan. It seems to be, uh, seems to have suffered from some kind of explosion. Suffered from an explosion. There's a, uh, slaver ship coming out. Okay. Uh, is it b a big one? I don't know. I got a pelt. Okay. Well, it's off. Nothing of value. A pry bar, sure. Three spire sponges, okay. Flint and tinder, and that's that. Very good, okay. Forgotten. Yeah, we're just wasting a little bit of money. And they need to repair stuff, so it's not a big deal. Let's go to the Forgotten Catacomb. Catacomb. A lush, narrow valley lies below you. You spot an overgrown stone structure built into the valley's side in the distance. Before the stone structure spreads a broad field peppered with ancient plinths and mounds of cracked stonework. As you move closer, you discover that the stone structure is actually the entrance to a crypt, though the doorway is thick with mud and as damp as sweat-slick skin. You continue down into the dark. So it's not... It, Sweat slick skin. Is that very damp? I don't think that's very damp. Is that damp? I mean, it's a, it's damp. It's just not very damp. Where are we and why are there... Ogres and Targoles. Why are they together? Oh, it's a Revenant Ogre. Oh, no, 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 no. That's, that's, that's a problem. <laughs> okay, so that's not an Ogre. I mean, it is an Ogre. That's not the point, though. That's a Revenant, which is just a bigger, better version of the uh, zombies. Let's call them zombies. They're vessels. They're It's fine. It's just a different name. Looks like but they're really, really powerful at the best of times. And this is pretty much the best of times right now. Let's see what I can do if I can get it to fight for me. I'm going to say I'm not going to be able to get it to fight for me immediately. But let's see what happens, because these guys tend to be kind of nasty. Not kind of nasty, kind of dumb. Uh, eh, 51 uh, mental thing. What's the one? That's the one. So they got charmed. Uh, okay, so we can continue attacking you. Here goes it cheese up. Oh, that one did not go well. That was the least well that it could have gone. Let's get them paralyzed because it lasts a little bit longer. I think that's deflection. What is it based off of? I, did, I can see. I can see. It's versus mental fortitude. Is it fortitude? You know what I mean. This thing. What is it called? Will. That's the one. I always think of will as a stat, not as a, not as a, a thing. As an attribute, I mean. It's not. It's not. It's just a result thing. That fanatic da down there. Shooting a cheese up. Come on. Dargle down. And this is going to be interesting. Oh, did you notice? There was a question mark. I was like, mm, what's going on? I do not understand this. Okay, let's get a heal so Ichiza doesn't die. Because we are about to get more of them. Uh, oh, yeah, we're about to get more of them. 
Let's get a paralysis in there. Wait a little bit. Oh, yeah, it makes a lot of difference. So they're all paralyzed, and uh, we are going to wait. Actually, you can do this. Let's bring you up over here. Let's get you there. Ichiza is dying. Let's get a little bit of healing. Probably not going to do much. Uh, you're ready for another... That's good stuff. Ichiza is still up, surprisingly enough. And uh, let's get uh, the Garden of Life. Because is it the Garden of Life? Is that the Garden of Life or is it the other one? It is the Garden of Life, not the Garden of Death. Because that's another skill. Okay, so this is actually going really nasty, and I like it. Let's see what I can do here. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get more paralysis. I think these are paralyzed for almost another. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, are you not handling things properly? It's just Dargles? How hard can it be? Hmm. Let's bring you around. We have the Call of the Clutch. Or Call of the Clutch, not Call of the Clutch. Call of the Clutch is a cool thing, though. That's, yeah. Because uh, in gaming lingo, Clutch means something reflexive. Oh, it didn't do that? Oh, no. Yeah. You know what it means. Maybe you do. Uh, she's taking quite a lot of damage. This is uh, not nice. See what I can do here. Can I get another one of these? Uh, she's taking quite a lot of damage there. Okay, yes, you should be. Uh, let's get this. No, she's still casting the protection. Okay, she cast. No, no, she's done. She didn't cast it. Okay. Uh, I, don't th I, don't, I think she's still casting it after the stun is applied. We're gonna be fine, though. Don't you worry. You need. Don't you worry. I do need something. I need uh, four AOEs for days, unless these guys are immune to... No, they're not. They're good. Let's see. You're gonna die. Oh, there's also another spell. This one over here. <laughs> you can do me for this. There we go. And then you do this one right there. Which is hopefully gonna uh, injure a lot of them. Let's get another one. Circular protection, because I'm pretty sure we don't have it anymore. And we turn that around in... <clears throat> No problem. Okay, so I'm gonna need this because is it for AoE this one? It's unfortunately it is for AoE, but unfortunately it's not the same. It's I, I would need it a little bit more in 180 degrees, but even if it is a little bit lower range, I would be okay with that. Let's get some of this. You have good things in here. Kill that guy. How about you do more of this? I'm here. She's not doing it very well. Let's do this. Uh, she's taking quite a lot of damage there. Mm. I really don't want that to happen. Champion's Boon. That's not what I need. Oh, but this is what I need. Oh, absolutely. This is what I need. Let's go with that. I mean, I think that's what I need. Shodi just healed. Very, very good. Get you over there. Uh, I think it's time for us to bring a dragon down on these guys. Oh, yeah. Not oh yeah, so. okay. Let's see. Are you? Yeah, just kill that one. I'm here. Uh, you are here, and you are gonna do another one of these because why not? You need something. I need you to do this. Oh, that's good. For we we right there. Mm, I can. Oh wait a minute. That's for revive. That's not what I need. Litany for the spirit. Uh, let's make sure she doesn't die. She's now stunned and can't be attacked, so that's pretty good. Uh, sh uh, it's good. It's good. Keep at it. What can I do you for? We have. We should. No, we don't. I was gonna say we have. Uh, um, Moonwell, but we do not, and the game is now hanging. Hopefully, it's not crashed. Huh. Interesting. You saw that in real time. I did press space a couple of times, but I don't think it was responsible for that. And this game is installed, as I keep saying, on an SSD, so it's not the driving, the drive spinning up. But it could be other drives spinning up, which is weird because they're not in use. But I do have mechanical drives uh, on my computer. Anyway, that happened, uh, and uh, yeah, we won. That's the more important thing. An exceptional warbow over here. And a reckless brigandine. That sounds good to me. Let's put it over there. If, uh, we'll see if it is good or not. Let's uh, get all of these things. Good, good, good. You can see that there's a little bit of delay when I click on the pickle. 
inventory. I don't know how they or what the system is. It is that they use, but um, it's it's a little bit. It's got a little bit of a. I, I've been complaining about it specifically on the drag and drop. It's much better now, but in the original version of the game, it was not in Pillars of Eternity one. I mean, but in the in the original version of Pillars of Eternity two, it was pretty janky. Not janky, delayed. It's there's a little bit of a lag, and I I can only assume it's worse for. Uh, slower computers. So this is a 55 armor rating of 11. This one is just better because it grants uh, the, the it's better. So don't like it. Oh, this is exceptional though. That's why the other one is better. Is it? Is that the reason? Support so gives plus 3 and this gives plus 2. Alright, oh, okay. So plus 5 action melee, uh, action speed in melee. Increases the engaged target. Increases per engaged target, plus one. Oh my god, that is amazing. What is this one? Minus 25% damage taken from disengagement attacks. You know what? I... Ugh. That looks awful. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> well, he's gonna keep that. <laughs> it's not fashion souls. This is this is Pills of Eternity. Um, yeah, this, this thing is amazing. And I think it would be good for Takeo, maybe, because I could, you know, since he transforms into a super shark, it would be kind of cool. He does have an amazing armor, but that's because it gives plus three. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. Uh, but regenerates. Does it say how fast? It does not. It does not. But you you'd figure it's Ooh, like ten seconds like or something how like this that. Feels. Oh yeah, you do. Oh yeah, you do. Okay. Let's see what we have. We have magical things over there. You can see the soil here has been disturbed recently. <laughs> okay, before the pause, there was a sound. I don't know what that sound was. I don't like it. Looks like something. You heard it. Hold it. Get out. What is that? Curse of Atrophy. Forever? <laughs> no? I'm listening. Just say the word. Shoot it? Maybe. <gasps> right between the eyes. Oh, might as well be hitting the water. I f yeah. Your desire is mine. Stop with the weird sounds. Go That's on, not even. Captain. That's because he's on the edge. Mm -hmm. Or something. I have no idea. That's definitely not because he's a water mage. Um, I can try a hailstorm. You can see the sound good, being good there. Oh, he does damage. Oh, this is amazing. Gothic, worth and rough. It makes no difference. It should. Did you? You did damage. Oh, maybe the penetration. It wasn't good. Okay, go for it. Unless, unless Gothic, it's regenerating. Oh, that's nearly destroyed. I kind of can't believe that this is actually working. Cause I'm pretty sure we need to go. Uh, we need to go melee in there. Okay, the cur the curse of atrophy is still here, and it's nasty because it's mine as might. Can I please not get any of that? Oh, you found something. Okay, that's pretty bad. Why? Oh dang it! I didn't mean for her to pick all this stuff up. You know I didn't. You know I didn't. How do you do that? Then you don't oh, know. Definitely not. Shift click. Oh yeah. <sighs> Lovely. Shift click works. Party stash. All the party stash. Oh nice. Oh no, no, it wasn't nice. She's saying that because I equipped something on her. They always like it, which I find pleasant. Okay, some things. What is this? Huh. Seems to be going well. I. I really don't like that the curse is still there, and it doesn't seem to be going away. Huh. Okay. Well, let's remove all of this stuff. And, uh, let's have a nap. We have cake. Oh no, it's de definitely not the cake that I want. Uh, some hackfish? Eh, could go with that. Some Keith meat. That is the worst, don't do that. Um, some rice. Oh, that's nice. That's good. Let's have you two eat the rice. 
See if that fixes it. It does. It does fix it. Okay. Oh, you get concentration. Wait a minute. What? I don't fully understand anything regarding that looks particular like item. Look, me, yeah, it looks like a revenant ogre. We should be fine. We should be okay. I'm gonna try and go for immediately a blind. Or a paralysis, I should say. Did you take damage and say that must have hurt? That's a paralyzed that guy. Unfortunately, just dodged that. I can try and paralyze him again. This guy's gonna be paralyzed for not too long. So... And that's two paralyses. It doesn't last very long. Is it because I'm grazing them? How long does that last? Uh, 5.7. Yeah, I'm grazing them. Unfortunate. Unfortunate for him as well, because he's now all meat. I mean, he was all meat before. He's now all mist. There we go. Paralysis for a proper time. That's why you need precision. That's why you need precision, because you don't want to graze. You want to actually do things. And also, if I could have skills or stances that uh, convert grazes into hits. Or uh, actually, it's items. It tends to be items that do that. Uh, I would love that. I would love that. Okay, a lot of plastic skeletons. Very many plastic skeletons, because of course they can't be actual bone skeletons, because uh, the bone doesn't work like that. As we all know, as I'm sure you're aware, so these people were very advanced. Oh, I can name the island. Um, mm, I want to name it after the plastic skeletons, but I kind of don't, because that's weird. So I can name them. Um, Forbidden Bones Island. I'm just gonna name it Forbidden Bones, and hopefully it's gonna be. Yeah, it works. It works. Um, yeah, hopefully, because I was sort of afraid that it'd be Forbidden o Forbidden Bones Bones. I no, sorry, Forbidden Bones Island Island. Uh, but it was not. It is good. So we're out of here, and we're probably on the tail of those slavers. Uh, let's see what we can do, because we're going over there. And uh, let's see what new islands we find. There is a Crooksburg captain over there, and I believe that is for a bounty. It might be even be this one over here. Huh, it is. Let's go with them. Hi, hello. You have a Dow. That's not as good as mine. I, uh, attack. I mean, right? They also... Oh, this is... Okay, let's see. So, I'm gonna enter combat. Uh, this is... Yeah, it's an easy prey, to be honest, but... Uh, let's see, so we are going a pretty good speed, or Nick, let's go with that, and uh, closing the distance, he is stopped, or she is stopped, uh, Crooksper, I don't know, actually, is Crooksper captain, what does that mean? If you were Captain Crooksper, I understand, but I don't know what it means as, as it is. So they're firing at us, and sales damage, which is a bit of a problem, but we're still good. Let's actually, let's see, report to... So I can see the ranges here. So I want 200 uh, to 250 for optimal effect. Uh, let's keep going, full speed ahead. And while they reload, that's the one. Actually, land on that, it's, po it's possible to overshoot. So I'm gonna turn ports, or turn two ports. And it's gonna take that long because of my ship, or how big my ship is. And they are probably, they're firing at us. We can't oh, brace. And more sales damage. It's fine. It's okay. Because now I'm going to fire my starboard cannons. Actually, I can't fi uh, fire my board, uh, port cannons. It, it, because it wouldn't make sense. So you're all done. We can do grape shot because we're going for the crew. Uh, we and Yeah, it costs a little bit of money, but that's fine. Not money. Bullets. Oh, look at them. You can see the, 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 the faces and all that. You can see their skills. Not, there's not many people. There's a lot of deckhands, though. Fire. Okay, I damaged the sails. Didn't mean for that, but I definitely... Yeah, um... Hold position. Can I tell... Hold position when they're reloading? They're doing something. Oh, they're moving around people. Because they're probably one of them is injured. Uh, hold position. They're not reloading. And I can fire more cannons. 
Oh, they get... They, you don't need to be... Oh, this is interesting. What are... They're firing these things. Oh, but we're within their range. Are they turning around? I didn't pay attention to that. Uh, they're on the right... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they can't shoot at us effectively. This is... <laughs> Brilliant. I didn't even plan for that. Uh, more above crew damage. It's pretty good. I'll keep shooting more a little bit. Uh, following the cry from their boatswain, the thunder of cannon fire echoes across the sea and it hits my hull and actually damages someone or injures someone, which is pretty bad. But uh, they're moving around people again, which they tend to do. Oh, they're moving. Eh, it's not going to help you, dude. Uh, I'm going to hold position again. So they're reloaded and they're holding position and I'm going to fire. And then we're going to go in. Let's go for more. I just want to bring them down. And... Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, turn starboard. And of course, I need to endure some hull damage. It's very good. And then full speed ahead because we're ramming them. Of course we are. Are we ready? Race for impact. Oh, no, that's the... Yeah. Just full speed ahead. We're right there. And... They are moving around, ramming speed, prepare to board, let's do this. Oh yeah, let's do this. So I think this Crooksburg captain, whatever it might mean, Crooksburg might be a type of ship, or it might be the name of the ship. It's just sort of weird that it's Crooksburg captain. Maybe it's because I don't know the name of the captain, it's just sort of placeholder or something. Um, so, um... What was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. That's why I started with the Crooks first. But we're good. It's not gonna be any difficult thing. Elf is okay. Those guys are getting stuck. Oh yeah. Uh, just kill them. Kill them as effectively as you can. Elf, why are you disengaging? That's uh, where I wanted. Also, somebody fell. I think that's one of mine. Maybe. What is that thing? I don't recognize it. It might be one of mine. We have plenty of crew. There we go. We got plenty of crew, and I'm gonna share the coin of the crew. Uh, absolutely very important. Ooh, and we got the crew's for colors. Okay, so I gained morale. Aloth. Uh, Aloth? Alad. Uh, gained a torn muscle. Bunch of things. A penumbra gained the rank, and uh, take all and continue. You haven't... what? Oh, repair. Uh, yeah, that's a shame, isn't it? That's a shame. But we completed it. And yeah, oh, that's what I was going to say. This is probably a bounty. That's that's why it didn't show any quest update. Oh, no, don't do what you're doing. I don't know where you were going, but you're not, you shouldn't go there. I also find it really weird that it does the... twice. Okay, that's pretty good. You have a cape. Yeah, we didn't get anything interesting. Um, so what do I want? Oh, right. I want to manage my injured crew. I got Alad. Okay. She's going to go over there. And do I have anybody else that is injured? Not really. Okay. You are a three surgeon. You're a two surgeon. Unfortunately, our cook is not very good. Come on, Berta. You can do better. Cook better. Oh, no. We don't have better deckhands, do we? No, just, yeah. Mother Sharp Rock goes for it. She's she's okay with that. Okay. Next. Uh, what is this? I see you. A plague the ship. Huh. On the horizon, a ship comes into view. Its sails furled. The ship lists upon the water. Plague ship! Rum dum rigere cries out from the fore, finger jabbing skyward, indicating a green flag billowing lazily in the breeze on the ship's main mast. Bedu leans in close. We should be careful, Captain, or we'll catch whatever took hold of those poor souls. Still, Cheetopak muses, there might be something worthwhile on board. The crew steals glances at you and to catch a hint of how you're inclined to proceed. Well, it seems pretty simple what I'm gonna do, doesn't it? I mean, it's like, duh. Maybe we can help, uh... I say, I suppose. If we can't cure them... Did I actually choose that? We could at least give them a merciful death. Even without a spyglass, you can espy... That is one word. Uh, 
a few leaving crew moving abo um, about above deck. Let's use the spyglass because we do have that. You survey the deck of the ship. A few deckhands appear to be taking stock of some cargo. Pale to the last, they appear exhausted. Their clothes drenched in sweat. Uh, ready guns. My God. Uh, let's yeah, let's pull alongside and see what they say anyway. And, well, let's see. The, the crew guides your ship next to the plague vessel. The deckhands and captain appear shocked and apprehensive. Helia's mercy, the captain blurts out, his voice raspy. I didn't think anyone would come to our aid. Uh, I think there's... I, I remember... I don't remember what book I read it on, but I think there is a, uh, a very commonly known, or at least historically known, uh, pavilion that you raise when you have plague on board, when you have uh, just very highly contagious... Uh, when you're in quarantine, I think that is... I'm pretty sure quarantine actually has to do with vessels more than anything. Like, historically speaking, like the first few, uh, or the, 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 where the word come from, or something. Because it's common, it, you know, it's a common situation, travelers to catch, or to bring diseases. Uh, you know, it, it, to this day, that's an occurrence. Uh, and of, just not the plague, hopefully, but um, but it's it, it, so it is a common thing. Just leave leave the um, uh, leave the ship out for a fortnight or two fortnights. Actually, no, wait a minute. There's 40 days. Quarantine comes from 40 days. I'm pretty sure out at sea. Uh, so yeah, basically, that's the name. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know exactly. I do know that the pavilion is very common. I or very commonly known among sailors historically, at least. Maybe not today. I don't know. Uh, and I they. How, how we didn't? I'm saying this because we didn't mention the pavilion that they were flying. Uh, and how did we know that it was a plague vessel? Is the, is the question here? But anyway, the deck can't stand tall, but their unsteady posture betrays the sickness that seems to have affected them all. Uh, well, I got Drew. I can do this, right? Oh, you can do this. What are your people afflicted by? The Swabby's hack, the captain says ruefully. It's not killed anyone. Rim began to, to look away, but it saps our strength and has quickly spread through the crew. Um, well, uh, we don't have supplies for the tr for treatment. Uh, that is a shame. Uh, the aid we can give is limited. We don't have the supplies for treatment. The fatigued crew of the plague ship slumps dejectedly. The captain hangs his head but nods. I understand, he mutters, the words heavy with disappointment and frustration. Yeah, I can't do anything. Well, there's nothing to be done here. Steer clear and let's be on our way. Cheetopag shrugs, morale has is, is, is gone up, uh, and sighs, but Beodul nods approvingly. A wise decision, Captain. The crew steers clear of the plague ship and sails on until it disappears on the receding horizon. I kind of wish... I kind of wish we could have given them food? Something like that? I mean... It's not something we have to deal with in this game. Uh, the durability of our food, we just carry around a lot. Uh, and that's for the better. That's for the better, but it, and also that also might explain why we just don't give them food because that's not a concern for us. It probably isn't a concern for them either. Just in, in world, otherwise you'd raise a few too many questions. Oh, got things over here, but I don't know if I can go over there. Can I go over there? I can indeed. Let's go to that ruined tower. Let's also go to the end of the episode because we're out of time for the day. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Pillows of Eternity 2. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.